What is up guys, it's Philip here with Molly. So today's video I actually had on my computer for over a month now and I thought of never uploading it. But I rewatched it and I tried not to be so hard on myself. And I realized that even though it's not the most entertaining video that I ever made, there is actually a lot of good examples of what to do and what not to do in dog training. And you can see them well because I paused the video so I can point out what I did wrong and what I should have done instead. But I want to say that this is an impulse video. I just took the camera and started to film. So with that in mind, before we jump into the video, I would like to ask you very kindly of course, for your support, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't, hit the notification bell, because if you love dogs and dog training, you will not want to miss what will happen here on this channel in 2022. All right, enough said, let's jump into the video. So in this video, we will go through and do some exhibition training. And before we start doing that, I gotta mention that because I, I think it's a fun thing that in, in the last video, I uh, had a short little film in which I threw like treats and bones and food to Molly here. I got you the best treats in the world. I wanted to show like, yeah, in, I haven't been uploading that much videos. I haven't trained Molly that much, but at, at least I've been spoiling her. But then when I started to like, I threw like treats and toys to her, I saw like, damn, she's in a really good form. Look at those muscles. And then all of a sudden I tried to like, put her in a good position in which you can show off her, her form and her muscle. Yes. Yes. This is actually something that I always wanted to practice with Molly, but I've never done it. And then, you know, when I, when I make videos, I get so passionate and full of energy, like I never have, basically never have, it just fills me up with happiness. So anyway, I get like this idea, like, yeah, I'm gonna do an exhibition training, like even though I never trained that with Molly, Molly, she's trying, she's a little bit rebellious right now, she really wants to go to that door. So back, back to what I was saying, I did a whole video in which I did some exhibition training with Molly and Nothing was scripted, I just went out and talked and it was really funny, I did a lot of mistakes and then I realized I zoomed in this entire time, like half of the video was zoomed in. I hope that you can see me good there, I can't really see the angle, Stanna, I'm gonna check, Stanna. Oh my god. I totally forgot that it was zoomed in. All oh, this footage will be ruined. So I thought of uploading that, but I was like, that's not gonna be so fun to watch. Like, I, I, it's better that, but that you can actually see me and see Molly and see what we're doing. So today we're gonna do some exhibition training. And as I said, I'm not an expert of this, but I'm gonna explain a little bit how my thought process goes through when I'm doing this. And I think this will be fun and entertaining. So here we go. Oh. Alright, so see, I'm gonna explain a little bit like my thought process. So, as you heard, I said a lot of yes, 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 and I said still. Uh, so, previously in our training, this is words that I always use like still. I have two commands, maybe it's too complicated for her, but uh, she seems to understand it. By, but, uh, stanna, that means stay, you're gonna stay put but obviously she, she can move as such, but still means like freeze. You should not move a single thing and then you get a reward. Uh, so I'm trying to like say, but the, she's not used to this. So as you see, when I, when I correct her, like you're gonna stand like this, she wants to move her leg and be comfortable. 
Also, it's worth mentioning that I have no idea exactly how they should stand. I'm just... Only... Stiff? Stall? Nah, up. So, stiff. I'm gonna move Stanna. Stanna. Yes. 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 Yes! Yes, Molly. Yes. Yes, still. 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 Yes. Hey! Nay. Alright, so this was totally my bad. This is a new exercise to Molly, which means that she is constantly trying to figure out what she has to do in order to get that tree. What I accidentally showed her with my body language is for her to do a sit. Having a tree diagonally above a dog's nose will make them naturally to do a sit. And this is how I taught Molly to do a sit in the first place. And this is how I tell her with sign language to do a sit. Sit. One. Two yes. and three times. Eight. Three times I showed her that I wanted her to do a sit. So I thought this was a great example of how small details like this can make a big difference whether your dog understands you or not. So instead of having my treat diagonally above my dog's head, I want to have the treat more like this. Yes. 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 We're all doing thousands of minor mistakes when we're training our dogs. It's just a matter of finding them and realize that if our dogs does not understand us, it's our fault and not our dogs. She don't really understand what I want from her. So what I gotta do is I gotta reward the behavior that I want and correct as soon as she like sits down or move her legs. Uh, because with time she will associate like Hmm, okay, when he's saying yes, I'm getting a treat, when I'm standing still, that then I can chew on this treat. But as soon as I move, he says no, nope, and then the treats get removed. And obviously she don't want the treat to get removed, so with time she will associate, like okay, I, if I just don't move, then I will continue eating this treat. And what yes means, it's a motivational command, it's really like, it takes time to teach a dog, but I have two, two reward commands you could say. Uh, bra means basically good, I talked about this in a video I did like three years ago. Bra means good, which means that you're done with the exercise, go ahead, get the treat, you're gonna get the toy, I'm gonna like reward you with everything, I'm gonna chase you around and damn you did such a good job. Yes. I use like when we're doing a heel exercise and maybe we walk heel for 5 or 10 minutes she goes like see so she's in this position like all the time but I want her to know that she's doing good still I want her to know that she's doing the right thing we're not done just yet but you're doing exactly what I want so yes 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 Bro, it's basically something like I, I call it a motivational command because she has associated with positive, positive things. And when I'm when I say yes, and then wait a little bit, and then yes, and then yes, she knows like yes. So okay, I will just continue doing this. Still, putting the three stay. Stop. Still. Yes! Step. 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 Yes. Step. Step. Yes. 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 So, so this is the same concept when it goes to every single thing that you're teaching or training your dog. And I talk a lot about this in the dog training program and I show you a little bit with more 
um, exercises and more thorough details. I don't always want to have a treat in front of her, so what I try to do is I try to prolong it. So I had a treat in front of her, I said yes, yes, and then I removed it. She's, and I trying to like get her to still watch it, and then I was still, still, still good. Like that is what I try to do. So stop. That is not what I want you to do. <laughs> Only up, oh. up, oh, stop. This is a new exercise to Molly, that's why I have to show her with her motivation, which is the treat, what she has to do. But at some point I want to remove the treat. And this rule by the way applies to every exercise that you're doing. You don't want your dog to only listen to you when they can visually see their reward. So I'm slowly trying to remove the treat so that eventually she can do this without the treat at all. She will only get it once she's done. And here she did such a perfect job considering we're both so new to this exercise. My mistake was not ending it sooner by rewarding her and giving her the treat. If I did that, we would have finished the exercise with a total victory instead of a somewhat failure in the end. So there's two points that I'm trying to make here. First, you can make the exercise harder by decreasing the amount of treats with the goal that your dog only gets the reward once you're done. The other lesson here would be to rather end the exercise sooner than later. Vänta! Nu ska vi stå. Stå. Still. Still. Yes! Yes! Still. Still. Look at that, how beautiful is she? Bra! Bra Molly! Alright, so her big reward was getting the treat and like letting her outside. What's funny about this is that I release her and she runs out. And then she's like, turns around and stays and she waits for me. But anyway, since it's our first, well, second uh, exhibition training, it's new for her. She's trying to think like, what, what should I do in order to get that treat? Like, what do you want for me? I don't want the, and the same thing goes for everything that you're teaching when you're teaching a dog something new. Don't have a long session. Like, your dog will tire out mentally. So try to end it on good terms. One thing that I gotta mention uh, with the exhibition stuff is that I'm not allowed actually. Well, I am allowed, I think, but Molly would never pass an exhibition training. Because, mainly because of two things. Her ears and her non-existing tail. First off, when it comes to her ear, I think it's really weird. Because I, that is like, I love it about her. These ears are quite rare. And I'm gonna explain a little bit. So, what they want, like Molly has upstanding ears. Well, stand up. You can just watch on the picture here how her ears are standing up. And uh, when it comes to the breed standard, the, the ears should be bent like this. And obviously, her ears are standing up. One thing that, that a lot of people are saying to me on the YouTube, like on the comment section and even on Instagram, like she's not a real American Staffordshire because her ears are standing, her ears are standing up. And what's funny about that is there's a lot of M staffs that have upstanding ears. When when they are born, some puppies naturally have bent ears. That is quite like rare. I don't have the number, but I know that like some ears are standing up. Some have one ear that is standing up and the other are bent and you could see like they, they are trying to stand up but they are falling and some are falling but they try to stand up. So what they do 
at a very young age when they are puppies, they take the ears. So they will bend naturally. So they kind of help it. It's something with a, I don't really know exactly like the scientific purpose with it, but it's something with um, closing the blood. So it will basically bend. Uh, they basically help theirs go into the natural state. And I have not done that. She wasn't really used, I see that she wasn't really used for me to touching her when she's doing this. Now, now, she, now she lost it. But it was really good, that was really good. Because I was able to get her into the position that I wanted her. Which might not be the perfect ex exhibition position, but that's the position that I thought looked good. And, and then she was able to stand still even though she was not chewing on the tree all the time. So that is a real good progress. Like in first time we're doing this so I guess you can count the last like yesterday as a as time so this is the second time we're training and maybe we should do some other exercises while we're going anyway meanwhile I'm making this perfect dog program I don't really have much time to make complicated or advanced uh, videos because basically it's a race of time I gotta focus most of my time in this perfect dog program because well I believe it in it so much and it's a big video like it's a big program it's not one simple video like it requires a lot of time and thought process for myself and then it will require a lot of filming a lot of editing and then I gotta like market it because I want people to know about it so they can decide for themselves but it's hard to decide whether you're gonna get something if you never heard of it. So, anyway, I'm talking too much. I tend to do that every time I'm making videos and I bet half of you already shut down this video already. But those who came this far, thank you so much and thank you for your support. I love you guys and I'm planning of making continuous videos here on YouTube and as soon as my program is done I will bombard you with videos because hopefully that will be my job like YouTube training dogs and stuff like that so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one peace